Well, summer calls to mind images of steaks hot off the grill. You can also put together the perfect steak indoors, fresh off the pan. Uh, if you do it right, Chef Janet Bourbon is here with the perfect stovetop steak recipe. Good morning to you. Hey, Jeff. I think a lot of people may be afraid to put a great piece of meat into a grill of any kind on the stove, should we be? Into a smoking hot pan. Uh, no, you notice, see all this yeah, smoke? We've, and yeah. Yes, we got yes. some smoke moving here. Yeah, that's what you want. Right. You want, at my house, my husband knows I'm cooking when the smoke alarms go off. Okay. Okay? All right, perfect. Hot, hot, hot pan. All right, this is a top sirloin that we've got in here today. Sterling silver, finest quality. This is a cut that's uh, got a great beefy kind of in-your-face flavor. Right, right. A little, little bit leaner than a ribeye, mm -hmm. but still packs a lot of flavor punch. So what's the key then to getting a steak that, and I don't want to say tastes like it's off the grill because you probably can't replicate that, but you can still get the same kind of... Uh, uh, oh, lip-smacking yes, yumminess? exactly, yeah. That's <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. So what's the key? Well, the key is, as you saw, the hot, smoking hot pan. Hot to begin with, right. I like cast iron, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. Right. A stainless steel will work, too. Mm -hmm. um, nicely seasoned. Choose, please choose a great piece of meat. Like, right. yeah, yeah, like sterling silver, yeah. okay? And you can also see that this one is a pretty thick cut, too. Yeah. That's, how, that's about an inch and a half right. thick. Yes. That is going to, that'll make a difference, too. It's um, a little more forgiving. Is there any, any uh, you got a little steam rising off there and everything. Does that affect the cooking? Um, not so much. That's just what you're seeing is still some of the smoke from right. the oil. And you've got a, a really hot, hot pan that is going to produce that, what we talked about, the yeah. lip-smacking yummy, yeah. the crust. The kind of a, see, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a nice, delicious, yummy, golden brown. So that piece of meat at about just an inch the thick, maybe inch a little bit inch more, and a half, inch and yeah. a half, how long? Oh, you, you, now okay. you can tell here. I mean, you can clearly tell where it has already cooked. So. Right, you can't. You can't. And people always say, how long? And that's I have, right. i got to do a ballpark here, okay? okay. This is probably, probably going to take 12 minutes, but the reason I... Know when it's done is because yes. I got a meat thermometer. Right. Instant read meat thermometer, the only way to go. And if you want it medium, medium rare, well done again. So that brings in the that, different that time does. frames, correct? It does. Okay. And so I always like to pull it at about 120 degrees. That's kind of on the borderline between rare and mid rare. Okay. And right. another tip, it's going to continue cooking. Okay. Okay. I pull it off right. at 120. Yes, exactly. It continues to cook. It's going to, by the time you cut into it, it should be a nice 125. Now, this is steak I believe you're going to put in a beautiful salad. It is. Now, it do is. you cool the steak down before putting it in the salad? Because I, I know you're going to cool the noodles. You cool the noodles down. Right. I wouldn't say cool the steak down so much as rest it okay. before you cut into it. About. Okay. Now, I'm just going to jump in. But is resting after the out of pan cooking has yes, completed. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. I cooked this one in a, this monster here right, yeah. in a pan earlier today. And there we go. Okay, I think yeah. we're yeah, okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is also top sirloin. It's just cut a little differently. If you uh, ask your butcher at Sobeys, he will cut he'll cut it however you like. So uh, this is a little bit bigger. Um, what we are looking at today is steak as Almost an ingredient, not so much... As a meal. Yeah. yeah. But an ingredient the of a salad. I got right. You, yeah. So, I mean, you've got this big, beautiful, beautiful salad, salad here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of Asian-inspired. Yeah. And if you have 8 to 10 ounces of meat, like this steak here... In the pan, yeah. In the pan, right? We'll take it, we'll slice it, we'll fan it over the top. You've got a meal for four to five people using yeah, one steak. Thing. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you. Appreciate this well, this hey. morning. I've learned something. There you go. And you'll find today's recipe on our website at canadam.ctvnews.ca along with a link to the Summer of Sizzle so you can find out when the Sterling Silver food truck will be serving up tasty samples in your city.